most important element for problem analysis is actually ability of uh, asking a series of good questions regarding the problem or issues. So, in this lesson, we will discuss about the first RCA tool which uh, establish upon the questioning method to find out the root cause of the problems. This method called 5Y analysis. 5Y analysis digs into the root cause of the problem by asking a series of why whenever we find the problem. In fact, this method is one of the most simplest and effective tools for, for root cause analysis due to its simplicity and effectiveness. Let's have a look at some facts about uh, five Y techniques. This technique was uh, developed by a Japanese industrialist or inventor and also the founder of the Toyota Industries uh, named Sakichi Toyoda for uh, part of their Toyota production system quality management in early 1930s and after so many years surprisingly this method still one of the mainly applied problem analysis tools due to its uh, simplicity and effectiveness a uh, five five technique offers a remarkably simple route for finding the root cause of the problem. Uh, basically, uh, whenever a problem occurs, uh, we will start to ask why the problem occurs and keep repeating this for five times until we find out the root cause of the problems. Then, uh, when the root cause becomes uh, apparent, so we have to plan for the countermeasures or the improvement in order to prevent the issues or the problem from recurring. Uh, five Fives has been implemented in so many areas. It's not limited to uh, industry or the manufacturing uh, section, but it's been implemented in even management education, medical, and many other areas. Uh, the reason is very clear because it is very simple and then it is very effective, especially in the resolving a simple or moderately difficult issues. How we can implement first 5 y analysis? The first step is assemble a team. A quote says, everybody knows something and nobody knows everything. So this is true in the context of RCA. You need a team that can contribute from different background or knowledge of expertise. So we need to gather people who are familiar with the processes or problem and that we are trying to fix it and we have to include one person as our facilitator. Second step is um, to observe the problems in action, uh, discuss it with team and write a clear problem statement. So we have to write a clear problem statement and if it, is, if it is a huge problem, we need to break the problem into the sub-problems to help us simplify the analysis. Then we have to choose the most likely reason based on the team technical analysis. The third step is to ask the first why. So, within your team, ask why the problem is occurring. 
So we have to search for the answers that are grounded in facts, not guesses at what might be happen. Then, for the next step, we have to ask four more times of why. For each of the answers in step three, ask four more further whys in succession. But we have to know when to stop. We basically stop asking why when it produces no more useful responses or we cannot go on further finding the reason. The next step is we have to add, once we have reached a five Y, we basically have identified at least one root cause and we have to discuss and agree with our team. So we also have to agree on the countermeasure to the root cause of the problem. So once we reach this step, we have to monitor our countermeasures or the control action and to watch on how effectively our countermeasures eliminate or minimize the problem. We may need to amend or to correct them or to replace them entirely if our countermeasure is not accurate or not effective. Let's have a look at the 5Y examples. We start with very uh, simple examples eh, to actually find out what is the root cause to this problem. So the problem is uh, a technician was injured because he slipped and fell down when performing the routine maintenance at the production line. So the problem was uh, the technician slipped and fell down. So we ask our first why, which is why the technician sleep. So based on our inspection and uh, analysis at the area, so we found out that the technician sleep because there is a puddle of water on the floor. Then we continue to ask another why. Why there is water on the floor? And when we done the checking, we realized that it is because the overhead pipe is leaking that caused the water on the floor. Then we ask another why. Why the pipe leaked? We found out that the reason was because the water pressure in the pipe was very high. Then we continue again to ask why the water pressure was very high. The reason was, based on our inspection, we found out that the pressure was very high because the control valve was not correctly working. So now we reach the fifth why, which is why the control valve failed. So we notice that the valve has never been checked and maintained since it's been installed. Finally, based on 5Y analysis, we are able to address the root cause to this problem, which eventually due to the lack of maintenance schedule. So the countermeasure, the solution to this problem can be uh, to come up with a preventive maintenance schedule for the valve based on the manufacturer specification. Or we can also propose a more advanced techniques using predictive maintenance, which based on uh, sensors monitoring, which able to tell us the conditions, the pressure inside the pipe using a real time or the latest technology. This is another example of five wise analysis. 
the problem is the car break down and we asked the first why why won't the car start and the reason was the engine won't turn on so we follow the step keep asking another four wise until we reach the last fifth wise and we find out that the root cause was the belt was not replaced according to manufacturer's maintenance schedule so what is the possible countermeasure for this root cause please think about it in this example it shows how a problem can be divided into a number of sub problem and even from a single sub problem can be divided into another sub problem until it reach to the root cause of the problem and then we can come up with the countermeasure to eliminate or to prevent the problem from reoccurring all right so we have learned how to actually use 5y analysis and i've explained a detailed step on how to implement this analysis in order to solve problem so you can try to find a technical problem and use a 5y uh, analysis to solve the problem and you can use uh, online software to perform this available at these sites all right that's all thank you very much